ما که رو بگذاریم باست رابع Which is the page. Yeah, this is the page. Okay. So, Alhamdulillah, a lot of good homework I received, mashallah. Uh, some nice writing practice the brothers had an opportunity to do this week. And, uh, mashallah, they received some feedback and some of the corrections. Very important to remember the significance of Alif and Lam. That when you use Alif al Lam, Al Maktab, or Al Kitab, or you're talking about something specific. Also, very important to remember does it have a Dhamma on the end of it? Does it have a Kasra? Now, when you, you, might, or you might question one day, you know, when we uh, hear people speaking, we don't hear them speaking with a Dhamma or a Kasra at the end. So, why are we, you know, um, impressing this issue so much in pronouncing the end sound? And actually, the end sound contains the meaning of the word, and when someone's learning language new, it's important to identify you know, the meanings of those words and their positioning in the sentence. So this gives a person the ability to understand what he's reading or writing, um, or saying, or listening to. I don't know how that matter. So, important to know that when you say, Ain al-kitab, at the end point, is with a dhamma on it. And that is the arab, that is the uh, the position of the end point which contains the meaning. And when you say al maktabi, then you know that that kasra there is there for a purpose and because it's related to that harf al jar ala. We said last class that there were six things that were new being um, introduced in this lesson. And we covered a few of them already. At least definitely we covered three of them on the fourth one. We were alluding to it. And that was the names, feminine and masculine names of people, where a masculine name has two dhammas and a feminine name that only has one dhamma. Uh, hence, in the question, in the passage, it says, وَإِنَ يَاسِرٌ my pointer. Raina Yasiron. In this case it says Raina Amina two. One Dhamma. Okay. Raina Yasiron Huwa. Fil Hamami. Raina Amina two Hiya. Alasari or Alan Filimatabash. Who are Hiya Filimatabash? Hiya. So he are referring to the feminine. The question now is, is Al-Kitab masculine or feminine? Brothers, somebody quickly type the answer to that question, please. Ahsanta, Akhi Nihal, Jayid, Barakamafik, yes it is. Ahsanta Hudayfa, it is indeed masculine. So if it's masculine, why does it only have one dhamma? That's a, that was a trick question from me. Yes, because the word says al-kitabu, so the dhamma is nothing to do with masculine or feminine. The dhamma has got to do with alif and lam being present. Thank you, Nihal, Janaid, and all the brothers, Hadith and others, mashallah. So, so, you're, so you're switched on. Good. And the same goes for as saatu as saatu It has one dhamma, nothing to do with masculine or feminine, but rather alif or lam. But is the word as saatu masculine or feminine? Barakallah fiqh, Hudayfa and others. Jayin. So how do you know it's feminine? What is the sign? The biggest, clearest sign. Allah ibarak fi jayid, ahsent. Naam, all of you, ahsent is the ta marbuta at the end. A word that has ta marbuta at the end of it, generally speaking, um, it's pretty much the absolute rule. This is going to be a feminine word. Except for the case of some masculine pronouns, meaning a male name which happens to finish with Tamar Buta. 
and a time of Rabuta name will always have one Dhamma. Yes, will always have one Dhamma. Even if it belong, even if it belongs to a male. But when you refer to that person, you won't say here, obviously you'll say Hua. Can anyone think of a name that of a masculine which may have a term or a on it? Yeah, Ahmed. You went far away. You went far away to somebody else's name. <laughs> okay, Hudayfa. Mu'awiyatu, Jayyid. Can you think of another name which is much closer to you? Ahsanka, <laughs> your own name. Hudayfa, too. Sahih. You went to Usama, you went to, to pick on other people, eh? Not, re not realizing that you only have one number also. Sahih. Jayyid. Are there any feminine names that don't have a term of water, but they still only have one dhamma because they refer to, to a female? For example, Zainabu Ahsant. Jayyid. That's good. Tayyib Ya Ikhwa. Now, the homework I asked you brothers to do was to read this passage and to write down these 11 questions, which you all did. And what we're going to be doing today is reading the next part of the session, of the lesson rather, at Dars al -Rabi. For those who are uh, following us, or may follow us up after, it's on Medina Book 1, book tw page 22. It is the last exercise on the page. It says, Iqra wa Qutub. Iqra, sorry, Afwan, is the... Second last exercise on the, on the page, on page 22, it says, number two, uh, wa kutub maha dabti awakhir kalimat. They actually want us to pronounce, dabt awakhir kalimat means pronounce what the sound is at the end of each of those words. So I'm going to say the word, and I would like someone to read with me, and I want everyone to read with me, but somebody on the mic. So who's going to put their hand up for the mic? MashaAllah, they was always ready. Bismillah. Jayyid, Jayyid, Jayyid. I'll come to you as well. So let's read together, my brothers. Al Madrasa Tu. Al Madrasa Tu. Fil Madrasa Ti. Fil Bayti. Fil Bayti. Al Baytu. Al-Baytu Al-Ghurfatu Al-Hammamu Al-Hammamu Fil-Matbakhi Fil-Matbakhi Al-Maktabu Al-Maktabu Al-Maktabi Al-Maktabi Al-Kursiyi على الكرسي السرير السرير على الكتاب على الكتاب في المسجد في المسجد بارك الله فيك أخي جنيد the mic's with you we'll read it again إن شاء الله thank you هذيفا جزاك الله خيرا المدرسة المدرسة في المدرسة في المدرسة في البيت في البيت 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 الغرفة 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 yeah, if you say الغرفة you have to you're going to make me look before the word for something that gave it a customer. Because the customer will, will not just appear automatically, okay, to me. It's going to be something causing it to happen beforehand. Yeah? al hammamu al hammamu fil matbakhi fil matbakhi al maktabu al maktabu 
على المكتب على المكتب على الكرسي على الكرسي السرير السرير على المت على الكتاب على الكتاب في المسجد في المسجد طيب what can that be? What could it mean? على الكتاب Can you give me a sentence? Can anyone think of a sentence? على something على الكتاب Junaid or anybody else, can you think of a sentence like that? You can't say al bayt al kitab. What can you say? You can't say al sarir al kitab. Al kalam, good, excellent. That's a good one. Al kalam al kitab. Anything else? Something small. نعم المرسام المرسام you mean pencil right المرسام على الكتاب from the words that we've done ال okay المنديل على الكتاب المفتاح على الكتاب جيد something small things which are small okay my brothers let's go down Let's have a read of these sentences. Okay, twenty-two. Okay, Wajid, I'm going to give you a chance to read now. The mic is coming on. Is that going to work, Wajid? Eight. Atalibu fil fil jamiati. Everyone, read, please, together with us. Atalibu fil jamiati. الطالب الرجل في المسجد الرجل في المسجد أين جيد أين التاجر أين التاجر هو في الدكان هو في الدكان هو في الدكان هو في الدكان yeah, there's a, a number of things happening here because you have fi followed by alif or lam, jayin. So you, you no need to pronounce the alif. And uh, this is I'm speaking in general, wajid, not specifically to you. And also, so in normal circumstances, you will say fil. And in this case, you have a dal, and dal is known as what type of a letter? Is it harf shamsi or harf kamari, wajid? Harf jar. This dal, this dal, is it harf shamsi or harf kamari? Do you know that? The answer to that? Yeah, uh, I know it is omitted. Uh, the al is omitted. Oh, so I gee, so it's shamsi. Omitted. Shamsi. Ahsanto. Shamsi. So in that case, you go directly to it, and then there will be a, a shadda on it. So you say, fiddu. That's why I was emphasizing on the dal, like a shadda. Give it some pause. Fiddu. And this particular word has a shutdown on the curve anyway. So there's a t there's two shutdowns taking place. So it's huwa fid dukani. Go ahead. Huwa fid dukani. Al kalamu ala al maktabi. Al kalamu ala al maktabi. Aina zainabu. Aina zainabu. Now, brothers, whoever wants to read, just keep your hand up, inshallah, and I'll just. Know that you're ready, and I'll open the mic when, when it's your turn. Here, fill your fatty. Here, fill your fatty. Ain al waraku. Ain al waraku. Huwa al al maktabi. Huwa al al maktabi. Zayid. Page two, top of page twenty-three. Ain al mudarrisu. أين مدرس؟ أين المدرس؟ أين المدرس؟ هو هو في الفصل هو في الفصل. This is a new word we have. We have not had this word before. الفصل. Does anyone know what الفصل means? Classroom. Classroom. أحسنت أخي واجد. نعم. الفصل means classroom. 
هو في الفصل he's in the classroom أين ياسر أين ياسر هو في المرحاض هو في المرحاض جاية المرحاض this is an um, old name for less زي uh, for the bathroom what is commonly known as the bathroom now الشمس والقمر في السماء الشمس والقمر في السماء جيد من في الفصل من في الفصل بارك الله فيك اخي واجد does anybody else want to read I want to go I want a few brothers to be reading those passages there to read those um, ten sentences so if you put your hands up, inshallah, I'll give you the mic. Even if you read before, it doesn't matter. That's okay. Brother Medina. Go ahead, Akhi. Start reading, please. Zakhla khair wajid. Zakhla khair wajid. Fadl Akhi wajid. Medina. This time, start reading the book by yourself. الطالب في الجامعة جيد جيد الرجل في المسجد نعم نعم الرجل في المسجد طيب طيب أين التاجر هو في نحو نحو أجن في سعيد أين أين التاجر؟ يا يا لا الشمس في الدكان هو في الدكان هو 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 في الدكان لا لا حلف الشمس هو في الدكان في الدكان هو في الدكان جيد جيد القلم على المكتب نعم نعم أين زينب؟ بارك الله فيك هي في الغرفة جيد جيد أين الورق؟ نعم نعم هو على المكتب Inshallah by ourselves, and you guys can be chanting inshallah behind the behind your screens, meaning repeating it out loud behind your screen. So here you can see the two lists. What can you see about these two lists? What will you be able to say is significant about these two lists? What can you see, brothers? Male and female names, Naam, masculine and feminine, masculine, feminine. But uh, Janine, I think, has a better answer. Male and female names, yes. Masculine and feminine, it's true, but masculine and feminine also. Al is masculine. Asa'atu is feminine. But here we have actually people's names. Sahih Mirza, Mudakkar and Mu'annar. Sahih Mudakkar and Mu'annar. But these are actually people's names. Ayyub? أسماء الرجال وأسماء النساء أسماء مذكرة وأسماء مؤنثة. So let's read these names together, please. 
Uh, if anybody wants to read with me, you can put your hand up, inshallah. Muhammadun. Khalidun. Hamidun. Yasirun. Ammarun. سعيد علي عباس Let's go for the مؤنث names آمنة زينب فاطمة مريم عائشة get this عائشة start with the aim for the hands up خديجة صفية رقية طيب، who's going to read that please? Who's taking the mic? تفضل جنيد. سويوس. محمد، خالد، حميد، ياسر. Again, again, before that. محمد. عيد، عيد. حامد جيد ياسر أمار سيد علي 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 عين عين ما بيجينك علي علي عباس جيد آمنة آه بكيفه صحيح آمنة زينب فاطمة مريم عائشة 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 خديجة صفية رقية أحسنت تفضل أخي مدينة ثانك يو جزاك جزاك الله خيرا Yes. 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 Yes.
Amin ya Tuh. Jayet. Zaina Bu. Naam. Fatima Tu. Mariam. Jayet. Aisha Tu. Hadija Tu. Afiya Tu. Rukaiya Tu. Barakallahu Fik. Hadaifa. Okay, Akhi Omar. I'm going to give you the mic now. Inshallah, you're going to read underneath those names. It says, Iqra waktub. Ma'adabti awakid al-kalimat. I want you to read these names, pronouncing the end points correctly, Inshallah. Inshallah. Badal. Badal. Muhammadun. Yeah. Khal. Yeah. Hamidun Zainabu Zayn Zayn Aminatu Ahabikabu Ahabikabu Amaru Amarun Zayn Zayn Saidun Am Am Fatimatun Kabu Kabu Fatimatu Maryamu Aliyun 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 Khalidun Abbasun Aishatu 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 Muhammadun we're saying Aisha to them. Aisha to them. Aisha to them. Aisha Hey, brothers, who else is taking the mic? Who's going to join the brave? We already had so many, mashallah. Go ahead, Mirza. Again, please, from here. Hamidun. Zainatu. Aminatu. Ammarun. سعيد فاطمة مريم علي خالد علي 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 خالد لا 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 عباس عائشة جيد محمد صفية خديجة أحسنت جزاك الله خيرا جو هير خضيفة حامد زينب Aminatu Ammaru Ammarun Sa'idun Fatimatu Maryamu Aliyun Khalidun Fatun عائشة محمد صفية خديجة 
جيد بارك الله فيك تفضل اخي مدينه سوري
The word illa, as you may know, it often translates as to, to the masjid. Now, if someone says from the house to the masjid, that's all he says. What idea will you get in your mind? And what's going on? He said Khalid, from the house to the masjid. If I asked you to put that in a in an English sentence, what would you say? In a correct sentence. Khalid, from the house to the masjid. What do you say, brothers? For example, you might say, going to, and he left from his house. Now I'm Khalid went. Ibn Khalid went to the masjid from the house. Allah ibn So, in this particular lesson, you're learning a couple of things. One is different uses of the word min. One meaning of min is uh, showing where you are from. So in the previous section we said, Aina Muhammadun. Where is Muhammad? Huwa fil ghurfati. Wa Aina Aminatu. Hiya fil matbakhi. But if we say, Min. Aina Muhammadun. Now the meaning changes all together. When you say Min Aina Muhammadun, now you're asking about your country where you are from. We learn another word over here in this class, which is Anta. Does anyone know what Anta means? Anta. It means you. Anta means you. So if you say to somebody, Min Aina Anta. Min Aina Anta. You know the meaning of Min. You know the meaning of Aina. You know the meaning of you. So what are you actually asking this person? Meaning, what information are you, do you want to know? You're asking where the person is from. So hey. Min Aina Anta. And if you say, Min Aina Khalidun, what are you actually asking? Min Aina Khalidun. Mm. Not, Jared, not where are you from, Khalid? Because that would be, Min Aina Anta. Khalidun, or Ya Khalid, for example. And this one is saying, Min Aina Khalidun, where is Khalid from? The answer would be, Huwa. Yeah, you wouldn't say, Huwa fil ghurfati, and you wouldn't say, Huwa min al ghurfati. You would say, Huwa min, and you mention his country. You mention his country. So, for example, his country is, let's say, his country is Al Kuwait. We say, Huwa min Al Kuwaiti. Huwa min Al Kuwaiti. Okay, I'm going to type it here. Just where is that? I'm going to type over here. Huwa. Min Al Kuwaiti with a Kasra and the end. Huwa Min Al Kuwaiti. Now the word, the Harful Jar is Min. Min with a Kasra on it. Noon with a Sukun on it. But when you are joining this Sukun of Noon, with this school of Lam, do you? 
then what you actually do is you somehow you have to make use a a vowel of movement. Either you're going to use a kasra as we use in some cases, or we're going to use a fatha as we use in some cases. In the case of min, we use a fatha. It is difficult to say minil. It's difficult also to say min al -bayti. It's also difficult to say minil -bayti. So for that reason, we say minal, minal, minal -bayti. So that fatha, we will not usually see it. We only see it if the word after has an alif and lam coming with it. Minal bayti. So here you have a conversation between Muhammadun and Al Mudarrisu. This conversation we're going to read in next class. I just wanted to give you some type of an introduction to the meaning of min, the meaning of ila. One of the meanings of min is where you are from. Another meaning of min is when you said min al bayti. Does it mean you are from the house? What does it probably mean, min al bayti? It probably means what, guys? As you said earlier, you said, Khalidun min al bayti ila al masjidi. From the house, meaning he left the house. He left the house behind him. That's what it actually means. Min al bayti, meaning he he left, and the, now the house is behind him. He's extending away from the house. Il al masjidi, and he's going towards Naam Mirza from something towards something. Medina Naam from the house. Jayid, that's one meaning of min. And the other meaning of min is your country where you are from. Ana min. For example, you might say the country Al Hindu is the country India. So you say Ana min Al Hind. What will you say? Because of the min, you will say with the kasra on the end. Min Al Hindi. Min Al Hindi. Okay, you won't say that kasra too long. Min Al Hindi. That can become confusing. Because uh, Hindi itself is a language. Okay, so, so you won't say min al hindi, but you'll say min al hindi, as that vowel point is only one vowel, so it only deserves one level of movement, and without extending that sound. So, therefore, next class, inshallah ta'ala, we're going to read this dialogue between the teacher and Muhammad, and learn some, of, some new words. We're going to learn two new verbs, kharaja and dhahaba. They explain what they mean, inshallah, next class. Faraja generally means exiting from somewhere, leaving something. And Dahaba means going towards something. But this is in the past tense, so Faraja means he left. And Dahaba means he's going to. Uh, sorry, he went to. Yeah. The past of go. Nahaba. Maybe, uh, Ikhwati, that's it, inshallah, ta'ala, for today. The homework for today is to write down these names. Write down these names on page 23, a list of masculine and feminine names, and to write down these names as well. And send them to me, but this one, these names, you have to write them down. With, uh, with the correct end points. Okay. Actually, I made a mistake. I wanted you to. I want you to read these names over here. Okay. And send your voice recording to me, inshallah, via WhatsApp. And these names over here, I want you to write them down. Ma'a dabti awakhir kalimat. Making sure that you write down the end point of each of those names, either one dhamma or two. And that is my WhatsApp number. Uh, that's the wrong number. I actually displayed it wrong. Just hold on. Let me correct it for you.